everybody. I am here to share a haul with you all. Excuse the view from this angle. <laughs> I know it's a mess here, but I couldn't film on my desk over there because I've got craft stuff all over the place. I had to rearrange some things so I could do my sewing of the quilt that I shared uh, in my previous video. Um, so I do still have my sewing machine out and it's because I sewn another quilt top. I finished it Yes, not finished it. I finished the top yesterday and I'll share it in a separate video if you guys want to watch. If not, that's fine too. So I ordered some things from Amazon. Well, this is from Amazon. It is a box of the Kukuyo refills. Um, that come in, they're in like the blue tape runner. There it is right there on the box. Um, I order these um, by the box instead of individually because it's just cheaper that way, I think. Um, and these are the long running. I know it's all in Japanese, but these are the long run um, refills. So um, they last a little longer than just the regular refill. And I like using it for my card making. I also got some things from Ellen Hudson in the mail today. Um, I got the Alta New... Um, Tulip, it's exotic tulips, yeah, exotic tulips um, stamps and die set. And I'm sorry I didn't open it before I got on the camera. I'm not technically on the camera, but here's the die. I bought the bundle, um, and then here's the stamp set. Um, and it, this is that um, sort of roughly looking tulip. It's it's um, pretty fancy. Um, and I've been wanting to get this. It's It's been out of stock at a lot of places, so I picked it up. Um, and Ellen Hudson, I think she, they had a sale for like 15% off or something like that. So I picked up also some of the new um, Lawn Fawn release because that was also included in the sale. I think it was a site-wide sale. Um, the Really Rainbow 6x6 um, scallops. Yeah, really rainbow scallops. So you can see the pattern there. Hopefully you guys can see that well. Um, there's one like rainbow sheet and then the rest are like um, solid colors. So you can see that there. And then I got this one, which is the spring fling. And I, I guess there is polka dotted sheets and then there's some floral sheets. Really fun for spring. Uh, I also got the two stencils for the reveal wheel. I do have these stamp sets already and the die sets for them. Um, it, it looks like there's three in each package. Three of the templates in each package. Um, this will help, I guess, line up your sentiments and stuff. So I got three. I got, I got both sets, I guess, is what I want to say. And then I got the reveal wheel. Is this a semicircle? So instead of it being a full circle, it's just a half circle um, for that. And I still haven't used it. Uh, I just wanted to have it on hand so that when I decide I'm going to use it, then I will. Yeah, semi-circle cut out. And then this one is Mushroom Border. That's part of the new release. I'm sorry for the glare, too. There's some sun, and then there's the, the overhead light. This is probably not the best angle to film from. but And you can see my mess. Um, and then I got the Stamp Market Heart die. You can see what it does. Um, and yeah, I got that at Helen Hudson. And then this, um, what is this one called? Bag it. Yeah, this is a, this makes a bag with a flap. So it does have a, uh, a guess a lid or a top that flap um, folds over and you can see the bag right here. This is the side. You would cut two of them and then glue it together. Um, I'm not sure what this other stuff is. It looks like they're labels or something like that. Um, but I'll have to check their website and see how they've used it. But that's what I've gotten in the mail today. Um, and I will probably go ahead and hook this video up with another one. Um, so you get more to watch. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey everybody. I have another haul to share. And this is a haul from Altenew and one other place. I picked up these storage pouches and I have never tried these before. These are from Altenew. 
Alta knew had a sale and I think everything was like 15% off or something like that in addition to the sale price. Um, I don't remember. But they come in a pack of 25 and these are five and a half by 7.37 inches. Um, they're for store. They're called medium storage pouches, and they're a thicker vinyl. I was thinking of using these for storage, but I didn't know that they were zip. They were zip tops, which is kind of hard to get stuff in and out of. But they're good for dyes if you don't want stuff to fall out, like especially if you have small pieces. So um, I purchased a couple of these. They are, again, they're the thicker vinyl. They're not that sort of lightweight plastic. So this will. Be able to withstand you know putting a couple of different stamps in here or die sets um, but they are about the size of say you know those other plastic pockets I put a magnet sheet in here and the magnet sheet is a 5x7 magnet sheet that I buy from Amazon and so that's what's in here and then of course they have that zip lock sort of um, closure a little hard to get stuff in and out of sometimes but I will use these anyway um, what I got from Altenu was a couple of their older sets um, that I didn't have for matching stamps that I've bought recently. Um, so I got this stamp set here. And this is called Framed. I also got the matching die. And it was a bundle. It was a, it was a pretty good price, I think, from what I recall. But um, the die cuts the two smaller pieces here. Okay. Um, this is the flower arrangement die. Um, I bought the stamp for this already and the stamp when I bought it, uh, I don't remember. Ellen Hudson, I think is where I got them. Um, they did not have the die. It was out of stock where I purchased the stamp from. So when they, I found out they were having a sale, I went over and picked this up. Um, and here's the dies in the back. You can see there's some words, hello and thank you. Um, so this is a good set to have. And then I got the vintage flowers die. Again, I bought the stamp set, but the die was out of stock. So I went ahead and picked this up during their sale. Um, they included um, this uh, project sheet for me. Um, I guess it's sh showing you different projects using the flower arrangement stamp set and die set. So that's kind of nice um, to have. I'll put that in with the storage pocket that I have the, the stamp in. And then the last one I got is Vintage Roses die. And again, there's the dies on the back. Um, this one's, I believe this one's a layer. Is this a layering one? No. It cuts the outline of the um, flowers, which I could do with my scan and cut, but sometimes it's nice to have the die. They also included the this project sheet for that. And again, I'll just stick this in with the stamp set um, because there's some great ideas in here. Why not? The last thing I got was a magazine that I ordered. Um, this is from the UK. It's an individual magazine. Instead of me going all the way over to Barnes & Noble to see if they have this, it's Simply Cards and Paper, paper Craft, issue number 188. Um... I think this was actually cheaper for me to just order it online and have it shipped from the UK. Um, it's a recent uh, magazine release and the reason I bought this is because it had the free layered Altenew daffodil dye. They had put out one earlier, I think it was a rose set and I have that as well, but I don't have a daffodil flower set. Not that I know of. Um, uh, this is a die set that's a layering die. So you can see that it's got the back layer um, for the daffodil and it's got a um, detail layer for the flower and then the same thing for the stem of the daffodil. So you cut it in two different colors and then you layer it on top. Oh, this is the leaf actually. And then this is the stem and then this flower. So you cut them in two different colors and then you layer one over top of the other. So you can see, I'll bring it closer. This is a weird angle to film from. Um, you can see what it looks like when you, when you layer it up. Um, 
yeah, so that's all I got um, in this haul. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.